Hello everyone. In this video, we will talk about observation of plant and animal cells with the help of compound microscope. Whenever we are going to perform any lab activity, we have to follow some common steps like aim, apparatus, method, observation, conclusion and precautions. Here in the activity one, aim is observation of plant cells. Apparatus or the materials required to perform this activity or we need a microscope. onion bulb, watch glass, glass slide, cover slip, saffronin, glycerin, water, fine camel paint brush, Fine camel, paint brush, blotting paper, and needle. These are all the materials required to perform this activity. Now, let us come to the third step that is method. Here, under the method, first we need to take one onion bulb, look at this, this is the onion bulb. We should cut a small piece from this onion bulb. So let me show you the same picture over here. Here I have taken a small onion bulb, from this I have taken a cut piece of onion. And in this, we can see that there are many layers. So we should separate out thin onion peel from the concave side. See here, we can see the two sides. One is A and the other one is B. So here in these two, which one is concave and which is convex. Here side A is convex whereas side B is concave. So the concave here in this, this is the longitudinal cut piece of onion. So here in this you can see the concave side very clear and the other side is convex. So we should separate out thin onion peel, look at here this is the thin onion peel from the concave side and later on we should place it in a watch glass containing water to prevent it from folding and then if the onion peel is longer we should take only a small portion and place it on a glass slide containing water. Now add a drop of saffronin solution to stain the different components. Here saffronin is a coloring reagent which makes the, all the components of the cell visible more clearly and if extra stain is added that must be removed with the help of a blotting paper and then we need to add a drop of glycerin to prevent the material from drying. So this is the method or procedure. So finally, we should cover it with a cover slip and observe it under compound microscope. So this is the method or procedure. Now let me write method. Here first we should take one onion bulb.
cut a small piece and separate out thin onion peel separate out a thin onion peel from concave side and then place it in a watch glass containing water in a watch glass contain water and cut a small portion of onion peel cut a small portion of onion peel and uniformly spread it on the glass slide having drop of water now add a drop of saffron in saffron in is a coloring reagent which uh, helps in proper visualization of all the components of the cell if excess stain is added drain out the excess stain with the help of a blotting paper and add glycerin to prevent drying of the material which we have taken on the glass slide now let me show you the saffronin solution blotting paper and glycerin look at this picture this is the saffronin solution it is a coloring reagent it stain all the components of the cell and it gives a pink color to the different components of the cell when we observe them under compound microscope all the components of the cell are clearly visible to us and then look at these two pictures this is the glycerin the importance of adding this glycerin to the onion peel cells is it will prevent the material from drying that means it keeps the material wet for a longer time and here blotting paper it looks like a tissue paper its composition is different and it helps in removal of the excess stain after adding glycerin to the material we should cover it with cover slip without formation of air bubbles now let me show you cover slips also here is the cover slips you can see these are all cover slips they are all transparent look at this picture after preparation of this material the cover slip is slowly placing on this material without formation of air bubbles so this is the procedure for the observation of onion peel cells under compound microscope and then the next step in this activity is observation now let me show you how the onion peel cells visible under compound microscope look at this picture in this picture we can see that all onion peel cells are stained properly with the help of saffronin there is a cell wall dividing all the onion peel cells and we can see that there is a presence of peripheral nucleus the nucleus which is present at corner or closer to the cell membrane and outer cell wall 
just below that cell membrane fluid part cytoplasm so these components are visible and even when you see here there is a centrally located vacuole is present so due to the presence of central vacuole in the matured plant cells the nucleus is pushes towards the cell membrane so around 50 to 90% of the cells volume is occupied by the vacuoles in matured plant cells and even here all these onion peel cells are appear in rectangular shape so all the regularly arranged rectangular compartments with rigid cell walls are visible to us now let me write this observation here when we observe onion peel cells under compound microscope there are regularly arranged rectangular compartments with rigid cell walls are visible and the nucleus is pushes towards the cell membrane so such type of nucleus is called peripheral the nucleus is peripheral due to the presence of central vacuole and here this is because of the vacuole occupies 50 to 90% of cells volume in mature plant cells okay so this is the observation of onion peel cells the next step in this activity is result when we observe onion peel cells under compound microscope regularly arranged rectangular cells are observed which are divided by cell walls now let us talk about the precautions the first precaution of this activity is we should place the onion peel in water to prevent the folding and at the time of spreading onion peel on the glass slide it should be uniformly spread so that there are no foldings will be formed and the next precaution is we should remove the excess stain by using blotting paper and no air bubbles should be formed under cover slip because it interrupts the visibility so this is the first activity that is observation of onion peel cells under compound microscope now let us do the activity 2 that is observation of human cheek cells under compound microscope aim of this activity is 
to prepare a temporary stained slide of squamous epithelial cells of cheek of man. So, this is the aim of this activity. The next step in this activity apparatus or we can say materials required. The materials required to perform this activity are microscope, human cheek cells, methylene blue. It is a coloring reagent. glycerin which prevent the material from drying glass slide watch glass cover slip normal saline solution which means sodium chloride in water the salt solution is called normal saline solution blotting paper wooden ice cream spoon these are all the materials required to perform this activity. The third step in this activity is method. First we should wash our mouth. And then scrape a little internal lining of mouth. Now place the scrape in a watch glass containing normal saline solution so what is normal saline solution that is sodium chloride in water is called normal saline to clean if any food particles or any other bacteria are present that can be removed transfer the material on glass slide and spread it uniformly without any foldings and then we should put a drop of methylene blue it is a coloring reagent and then we should wait for 2 minutes until the coloring reagent settles. If excess stain is added that must be drained off with the help of blotting paper. Now put a drop of glycerin to prevent it from drying and then finally place a cover slip without formation of air bubbles. So this is the procedure of this activity. The next step in this activity is observation. Look at this picture. When we observe human cheek cells under compound microscope, flat and polygonal shaped cells with central nucleus bounded by thin membrane is visible. Now look at here a cell membrane the outermost layer the fluid part cytoplasm the central nucleus the small rod shaped mitochondria are also visible the singular mitochondrion. These are the components of the 
human cheek cells visible under compound microscope now let me write observation when we observe human cheek cells under compound microscope flat and polygonal shaped cells with a distinct central nucleus is visible which is bounded by a thin membrane and we call it as plasma membrane conclusion when human cheek cells are observed under compound microscope flat and cells with centrally located nucleus is observed under compound microscope now let us talk about precautions while performing this activity we need to take some precautions the first precaution do not scrape the cheek too hard because it may hurts next clean the material in normal saline uniformly spread the material on slide the next precaution is remove excess stain and add glycerin finally we should take care that no air bubbles should be formed while covering material with cover slip so that we should avoid formation of air bubbles so this is about observation of human cheek cells under compound microscope and observation of plant cells